This day just gets better. Podcast time, eventually. Now that we have anything to talk about. What have you been playing this week? Tony Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> I finally gave in and I got it. I had some spare credit at CEX. There was nothing I wanted. So, so I you bought Tony Hawks? I bought Tony Hawks. <laughs> I got that in a game called Trackmania Turbo. All right, all right. I got that for Harrison. For the Xbox, but it's quite fun actually. And yeah, Tony Hawk's. Is it good? Well, <laughs> you has know, it been fixed? <laughs> well, no, but you know what? It's not as bad as all the reviews made out. It's still, there's that kind of like nostalgic feeling. Is, it, is it. that not just rose tinted glasses though? I think so. But <laughs> <laughs> see, the first level, right? It's got all the stuff that you would expect collect skate, collect combo, yeah, yeah, yeah. get the videotape. But none of that means shit. To unlock the next level, you've got to do all these stupid fucking challenges, which are all patient. It's put us off playing it. Actually. So what's the point in all the rest of it then? Like finding the hidden tape? Right, I'm back. It, it, you're still bored. It, it unlocks... Outfits. What are we talking about? That's so gay. It is, isn't it? What are we talking about? Nothing for you. Cooper's bought Tony Hawk's. And it's Why have you done that? Well, like I was saying... What the fuck is wrong with you? I had credit. <laughs> At CEX. Oh, I had some money, so I just thought I'd fucking. There was nothing I wanted. So I thought, you know Michael, what? Michael, I've got these magic beans. I mean, I've, got some... <laughs> <laughs> I've got some credit. So I've got some magic beans, mate. I will exchange it for your CEX credit. Yeah, I'm I've got that in a game called Trackmania Turbo, which is this really mental car game. You drive upside down loops and shit. I go for Harrison. I quite like it. So, how are we then? Give us the lowdown on Tony Hawk's I'm morbidly curious. I, I already have. Excuse yeah. again, I wasn't listening. Well, if you, want, if you want to hear it, you're going to have to listen to the podcast. I'll give you a play by no, play. I'll give podcast. you a play by play. The podcast shit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> do you know all, this, all the shit you'd usually do? Like find the hidden tape, collect skate, yeah, collect yeah, yeah. combo, yeah. do certain You do tricks. all that, right? And that unlocks outfits. If you want to unlock the next level... You've got to you, do all this other shit. There's all these stupid fucking pointless challenges. And it's... That's Sounds really, really tedious. Yeah, yes. that's what made us turn it off. But other than that, I've been playing Uncharted. It had a massive update recently for the online play. Yeah. And it just made it even better. Well, I'm, so I'm still blasting through my nightmare playthrough on... Uh, fucking hell. Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Age. Dragon Age position, And I've cheated like fucking... Now it's brilliant. You've cheated. I've cheated. Hell How yeah. you cheated? Because, you know the, the the mayor in the village quest? Yes. Right? Oh, I know what you've done. When you finish that quest, there's a shack that unlocks. And you can go in and it's got like a shitty pendant in. And it's, yeah. it's got like the blue ability point. Yeah, pendant. yeah, for you. And then you, you just you've, pick just the, the ability shoot. point up. You just pick just the ability pendant out of the chest. Yeah. Travel away and travel back and it's there again. Easier way than that. What's that? My, miles easier. What, you use the uh, storage chest in Skyhold. So what you do is you go in and you go to deposit it and as you as you press deposit you press cancel out the chest as well and it keeps one in your inventory and puts one in the chest and you just do that over and over and over. Does that work with the um you know the um the roll, the uh, parchments in your yard in the shop? Is that how you spam that? Because there's a way to spam that without spending money, but I don't I know. Don't, I don't know. It so only works for stuff you can put in the storage chest, so like um what is it? Fucking like weapons, armor, like not. But really anyway, I now have craftable every, items. I have well. yeah. every single um, inventory, every yeah, single yeah, yeah. ability slot now maxed. Yeah. So like, my spells just hit for thousands of damage. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Yeah. I had Defeats that last the time. purpose of the game. Though, it doesn't. The only purpose of the game for me at the moment is to get the <coughs> platinum trophy made. I've played the game. But you can do it for your party as well with theirs. Doing it, doing it that way with a skyhold chest. I'm gonna do you that. Put them in. Oh, that's a good idea. I've, I've got a video of it on my YouTube channel. It's my best YouTube video of the day. So it's got like six and a half thousand views. So that's oh, what we need to do yeah. to get it <laughs> put cheats up. Yeah, so I was a cheating motherfucker. Oh, that's, you know what? I did the same thing on my first playthrough, but mine was replicating. See, that's where Wayne Mean is different. I played my first playthrough properly because I'm a real gamer. 
The first time. Well, my second playthrough was my nightmare one, which I played properly, which proves I'm a far superior gamer than you, because I didn't have to cheat on that one. The first time. Going after you, I just can't be asked. I didn't do. I didn't do that. But I did do was um. That was where you could sell and sell all at the same time. Yeah, that's the, that's what I mean. Yeah, I, I did. did that. I get loads of fucking um, dragon skills and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, but that and doesn't I've, work anymore. I've gone rift mage, and it's quite funny because you use pull of the abyss. And you put everyone on the one spot, and then you just spam them with all your top spells. Yeah. Oh, good news. Crash Bandicoot. Yes. Half-Life, no. Half-Life Three. Half-Life Three, Crash Bandicoot, and No Man's Sky went gold. Woo! Yeah. It's finally finished. Woo woo! Now we just got up. Now we wait. Yes. <laughs> I'm still not buying it until one of you two's played it. Well, I'm probably going to buy it on launch. So. But I've already got it pre-ordered, so. Yeah. I shall have it on launch. Because I'm still worried about how how playable it's going to be. Can you remember I was on about Mirror's Edge, the new game, and you were like, oh, yeah, quite like Mirror's Edge. It was all right, yeah. It was all right, aye. So, you know on the Xbox, I keep talking about this thing called the EA yeah. thing. I can't remember what it's called, but you pay 20 quid a year and you get loads of games for free. It's, uh, it's what you call it, it's PS Now if it works. EA Access or something. EA yeah. Access, that's yeah. the one. So what they do is, with the new releases, they give you anywhere from six to ten hours to play the game. So yeah. the, with Mirror's Edge, you get six hours, but apparently you can complete the game in five. So basically, like... If only they had that for... Um, oh, what the fuck was it called, man? Uh, that steampunk game on the PS4. That, um, it, was a, it was supposed to be a massive title. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you had that for the order, you could have completed it for free. <laughs> Completed that in 20 minutes. What the shit. So Imagine you, that. Have you heard about Evolve? What it's gone free it? to play, eh? It's gone free to play. Only on PC, though. It'll follow suit on the console. But I bet all the DLC is still chargeable. Yep. They are bringing out uh, some kind of fucking monetary system for it. Still not going to make us play. No. But isn't that, uh, that's how I see all these fucking games coming out with multiplayer only. That's how they're going to end up because they're going to lose so many fucking players. I mean, look at the division. Yeah, I've still got it. Star Wars Battlefront, although that seems to be quite popular and Overwatch seems to be the exception of the rule. The difference with Battlefront and things, even, even things like Call of Duty and Battlefield because they're the same entity really. Was that every match is different? It's not just like running the same fucking mission over and over again, mm-hmm. like it was on Destiny or the Division. Do you know what I mean? You can go into a server and have a completely different game one minute to the next. Do you know what Even I mean? Even in the same map. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> and the Battlefront has done it really well. The game mechanics are superb. It's good fun. Also, pew pew Star Wars. Yeah. Ideas. Yeah. You know how me, me uh, PlayStation died? So I bought a new one. And I got the terabyte version. And you know the, the hard drive cover? Yeah. They've changed that so it's not shiny and easy to scratch now. It's shitloads quieter. And I've got three games with it. I've got uh, Star Wars Battlefront, so I've got that again. Uncharted 4, which I already had. And Call of Duty, which was left in its wrapper and traded in. I was going to say, my brother just sell it. it. did. So we should have a... Battlefront night sometime. I'm up for that. Yeah. I like a bit of Battlefront. So apparently there's uh, going to be a Game of the Year edition coming out of uh, Witcher 3. Cool. And have all the DLC in it on, on the disc. I mean, that's a move that surprises no one. Do you know what I mean? Any game like that, that had multiple DLC packs, releases a Game of the Year edition like a year later. Dragon Age did this. Do you know what I mean? It's not nice. It's standard. I bet you they do it at a reasonable price. I've been putting off getting The Witcher again because I thought, I bet there's a year the Game of the Year edition comes out soon. Yeah, well, I haven't bought the season pass yet, so now I'll wait. Season pass is 20 quid on PlayStation Store. So. Yeah, which isn't bad. Yeah. You might just do it then. When you consider the fucking the Fallout 4 ones, like, what is it now? 35 quid or something? Yeah. If you go to um, Zavi, the website, you can get Hearts and Stone. It's 20 quid just for that, but you get a physical Gwent deck with it as well, which is kind of a cool thing. I 
And not really, because you need someone else to get a Gwent deck as well. And it would be the same Gwent deck, wouldn't it? I well, assume. Never assume. <coughs> Can you, did you ever play the Warriors on PS2? Absolutely fucking loved it, and I know it's coming out on It's coming out on PS2. There's one thing I was going to say. Did you know the remake in the film? Yes. That's a big game. Yeah, that's my film that as well. One of, those, one of those films that didn't need remaking. What, like Robocop? Yeah. Evil Dead? Old Boy? Oh, fucking what the fuck? Yeah. Why did all, I haven't even watched the remake. Me, I don't things. even acknowledge it in existence. That's the first time ever and I never will again. <clears throat> on the subject of the Warriors, do you know what one of the best things about the Warriors was? In your clubhouse, there's an arcade machine and there's a mini game embedded within the game. And it's Double Dragon. It's just with Warrior skins, but it's basically Double Dragon. And I think I spent as much time playing Double Dragon on Warriors as I spent playing the Warriors. And the Warriors was awesome. It's, like, it's Rockstar, isn't it? It was, yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd, oh, be cool. That'd be cool. So have any of you seen the Warcraft movie yet? <laughs> no. <clears throat> no, um, it seems kind of like everyone who I've talked to who's been saying it's been like, Aye, it was alright. Kind of like where they don't really know how to feel about it. Like, it's not the best thing I've ever seen, but it wasn't shit, I suppose. Just kind of like, aye, I guess. I watched it the other night, and I, I, I was watching it in hopes that it was going to be the first <coughs> movie based on a game to break the curse of them all being shit. And it wasn't. Apparently, um, in terms of movie adaptations of games... That's the highest grossing one ever. But again, Cause that's because of China. Well, Apparently, yeah. it did massive in China. But having said that, I mean, like most f film adaptations of games is shit anyway, so it's not that difficult. Do you know what I mean? It's I mean, not the, particularly high bar. Uh, what's happening with the Last of Us film adaptation? Because that's ground to halt, hasn't it? Yeah, it's in development hell. There's there's been no updates on it uh, for over a year now. Same with the Uncharted movie. Yeah, there's a few points that, through the Warcraft movie where I, you know I laughed like you hear a murloc. Yeah. A couple of cool little nods, but that overall it was a bit shit. That sounds like total all the hilarity. I bet I'd have found that hilarious not knowing anything about the law or the Exactly. For somebody who hasn't played the game, yeah. you wouldn't have liked it. Yeah. But for you played the game, didn't you? Hal? Yeah. So for us, for watching Hal, Hal, certain things, would be like, oh, it's cool. Hal has has a condition of his gait from Warcraft. He suffers from Raiders Knee. I do, I. <laughs> knee. Yeah, he used to sit and play on a bad office chair, hunched over a shitty screen. Now he gets a bully knee, he's got Raider's knee. Yeah. Haven't you? Aye. Uh, mm. It was actually a 30 mile bike ride there when you'd park him back, but you know. No, after, after a four day session on World of Warcraft. That'll do. And he got on a bike and he got Raider's knee. I've got more good news. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Rise, you, of the, you. Rise of the Tomb Raider still set for a 2016 release. Do you know what? I'd forgotten that existed. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, oh, oh yeah, that hasn't come out yet, has it? Oh, what's what's a Rise cares? of the Tomb Raider? I'm joking. That's the one that they delayed, isn't it? That's, that's the one they put out on Xbox One first. Yeah, and they said we could have it a year later if we were good. But I don't want it. Have you heard what Microsoft might be offering? You know the new uh, Xbox that's coming out, the Scorpio? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you've got an Xbox One, they're going to do like a trade-in program, so you get the Scorpio a bit cheaper. That's give, pretty give, cool. Give me that. There you can have that. I've had plenty of crisps off here, so... That was a good bit of haggling, wasn't it? Yeah. Confectionery trading. I bet Sony don't offer anything like that for the Neo, though, when it comes nah, out. Nah, well, the fuck. <laughs> Sony love money. I was thinking, man, tapes off him. What were they offering? You know the new Scorpio? Yeah. So if you've got an Xbox One, they're going to offer a trade-in. So you, you give them the Xbox One, you get the Scorpio One, you pay a little bit of money. But you don't pay a full price for it. That's not bad. Yeah. Cool. But, you can guarantee it's not going to happen that way with PlayStation. You know, for the VR headset that Sony releasing, mm -hmm. they release it without everything you need to play. Do they? Well, that's a surprise. So it's about 350 quid. Then you've got to buy the camera for the PS4 on top of that. Then you've got to buy two of them stupid fucking sticks with the bars on the end. 
and then you can find a new player. That's a bit silly. Can you not just like get a pack? No, I mean like surely though, there's that that's only for certain games. Surely there's ones where you just put it on and like you have you'd, a pad. You'd think, wouldn't you? And you just like, you'd, you'd be wrong. It all goes off the camera and the two stupid ones. That's so gay. <laughs> it's fucking that's <laughs> bent as fuck that. It is a bit shit. Mm-hmm. They always have to spoil shit, don't they? Because they love money, they're the new and Microsoft. It's, all, it's always Sony that's spoiled. It has it has gone that way, like hasn't it? And then what will happen is the next the next iteration of the console war, Microsoft will win, mm-hmm. and then Sony will be like, "Look at all the cool shit we can do for you to tempt you back from you know." Yeah, and we're gonna not be pirates this time, yeah. at least not until we beat Microsoft again. Yeah, not until the year three. <coughs> yeah, that's that is what happens, though, isn't it? Then the PlayStation Five will launch. And everything will be golden rosy, and then the PS6 will launch, and everyone will still buy one because they were like, "Well, Sony have been good to us," and then they'll be like, "Ha the old bait and switch, fuck you!" <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you've got your console for six hundred quid, but it doesn't come with pads. <laughs> <laughs> They're hundred and twenty each. Oh, so the the borrowing the Apple model. Uh-huh. You need a power supply for your PlayStation. There's another hundred quid. Still though, I think I'm young enough where I'll get to a point where they'll have inver- invented total immersion video games like off Red Dwarf. So I'll be able to play them. Like a kind of holodeck. Yeah. No, just the one where they put the thing on and they're in it, better than life. Oh, oh one, god, yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> and Rimmer's brain rebels. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, bad news. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> Crash Bandicoot's <laughs> being put back. No, Crash Bandicoot's coming out, but other than that, Sony is closing the little Big Planet series. Oh. Actually, you know what? That was actually, I like the Stephen Fry edge of that. I like that he did the voice in that. Was good. <coughs> I never really liked the games. I've tried. The first one I thought was a novelty, and but past yeah. that, I don't understand why they even needed to make a second one. Or was there a third one? Yep. Well, yeah. it's the whole thing, isn't it? You get a platformer, you get an iconic character, and then that iconic character becomes marketable. But the and, thing is, though, then, from what I understand, nothing changed. <laughs> like, surely, if you're going to do, like, say, the second iteration of something, it either has to be it has to be different in some way. Or better. Or better, yeah. But from what I understand, it's just more of the same. I suppose, you know, FIFA have been doing that for 15 <laughs> years, though, haven't Do you remember <laughs> on Little Big Planet 2, where they had to apologise because they dropped in some, like, um... Uh, Middle Eastern music because they thought it was nice they just liked the music so they dropped it in and it turned out it was like a Quranic prayer and, and Muslims being the like butthurt little fuckers yeah. that they normally are were like that's blasphemous you can't use our prayer in a video game that's blasphemous and they did the usual thing where they pick it and pick it and pick it outside the offices with signs and threatening to be that's not what Muslims do normally do <laughs> No. Sorry, someone had to go there. Of course, of course it isn't. <laughs> Every fucking butthurt minority in this country does that, man. I didn't mean picking an arm and like instead of picking them with signs. Yeah, it was just a unscrupulous package left in the foyer. Yeah. <laughs> Usually strapped to some Muslim's chest. That is what we think of your little big guy. God, we went there. Good work. But uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Fucking, it just does my fit in. So we have to apologise and take it out of the game. I remember that. That's the only little fun, interesting thing I know about the Little Big Planet series. But I thought that was ridiculous. Do you remember what about how you you mentioned that Tetris was getting a movie? Yes. How the fuck? Uh, But wait, it gets worse. It's not getting a movie. It's getting three movies because the story's so big, I can't fit into a movie. Each shape gets its own. (laughs) I fucking don't know what's going on. What? Like, I literally can't fathom how you could make Tetris span one movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ten <laughs> minutes? <laughs> Shit. Ah, they're also making a centipede movie, aren't they? That was that wasn't the same yep. the same thingy, aye. Who thought they have done they made two? Really? Human centipede one, two. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well actually in that case there's three of them. I remember when I watched that a lot. That's not what it was like on the Atari. 
you definitely didn't do that on the Atari. <laughs> in fact, on the Atari, you had to shorten it. Have you seen the new PS Plus games? This one? No. I had a look and I was disappointed. <laughs> I can't even remember what they are. Come on then, spoil me day. Saints Row, Gat, oh, Gat Out of Hell. It's not even the full fucking game, it's just a standalone yeah. DLC. Yeah. And a game called Curie, which... Looks shit. Oh yeah, it looks so bad. Yeah, yeah I remember now. I watched the trailer for Saints Row, Gat Out of Hell, because I, I remember playing the first Saints Row, like back on like the original Xbox, and I was like... You know what? This is pretty good, and then I haven't touched it since because I've just thought it's sort of like a poor man's GTA. Yeah. Um, but they changed all that at Saints Row Three. That's when they started making it ridiculous. Yeah. Like Saints Row Two was serious. And I watched the trailer for that, and I just thought that looks scary. <laughs> like there's this man trying to act hard on the trailer. I assume he's the protagonist or something. He's like, I'm gonna shoot Satan in the face. And then at the end of the trailer, he, sh- he goes, hey, Satan, and shoots him in the face. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's a minute and a half of my life that I'm never going to get back. <laughs> you loved it. And then I, you did. I then had to go and like bleach my eyes. He is now your role model. I don't even know his name. Carl. <laughs> Saints were all hard, man. Yeah. They look like a greaser. You know what I mean? Like a leather jacket. Look like the Fonz. <laughs> so the the Fonz, Fonz with a pistol. The Fonz has gone badass. Yeah. <laughs> Except he was Chinese. Yeah, that's it. I was. <laughs> Chinese Asian Fonz. badass Fonz. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds worth a playthrough. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And that that other one. Because I thought I know nothing about this, so that means, it, like that, that automatically sets the bar at sort of like zero. But not like minus, because I just think like I've never right. heard of it. If it was terrible, I'd have probably have had to stay away from it. So I had a look at the trailer for that, and I was like, "Yeah, just, I don't understand. No, okay, don't like." <laughs> the game seemed to be getting worse. Yeah. Well, it was I'm, a massive sale. I'm I'm gaming so hard at the moment that tonight I'm going to drink whiskey and play guitar. There's a massive sale on there. Uh, <laughs> On Japanese games on the PSN to start with the start the minute. Yeah. Um, not a genre that's ever really got hold of me. Like not my either, kind of thing. Forty percent of Street Fighter Five is kind of like tickling me fancy a bit because I figure it's still pretty new and to get it for like nineteen quid is pretty decent. I'm just a bit skinned at the minute, and I always did want to pick up Street Fighter Five, but it's always been the price that puts us off because I thought I want to it play wasn't it. The price that put me off it was the fact that they released it. It was it unfinished. Finished. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, you'll get the rest of it in June. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Story mode is actually out. Oh. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's worth probably picking up because now that you've got the whole game. But it's just, I'm pretty, I'm pretty light for money at the minute, and I'm thinking, I've got No Man's Sky coming. Do you know what I mean? And there was something else I wanted, and then there's Amy's birthday in November. And yeah, just, that's November's miles away, man. Ages away. I don't make a lot of money here now. Right, how how fucking expensive is Toblerone like? <laughs> just make yeah, a card. Yeah, I'm saying how much Toblerone she can go through. Just I'll make her a like card. I'm possessed. Just yeah. make a card. Maybe you can get yeah, a big Toblerone. I like you thinking. You can get a big <laughs> Toblerone at that shop now for three quid. Right, Toblerone card. Toblerone. <laughs> yeah. Toblerone card and shagger. He doesn't even need to buy a card. Happy birthday. If, if, I, if, I if you make shagger, one, it's then that, like. To Come reset that, I need to buy her another Toblerone. Take her to McDonald's or something then. Everyone likes On her birthday, she doesn't want to be disappointed. They're called, they're called <laughs> Happy Meals for a reason. Take her to Greg's. You'll get a discount because you work there. Good job. Win-win. It's a good idea. You can even get cake from there. Today, but when I shut the shop. And you say it right, you say it. I know you normally don't know if you want chicken pasta or a corned beef one. But it's your birthday, flower. So I've got you both. Get them both. <laughs> Can't get me and be like... Normally I've got to be like really nice to customers and that as per you know my job. But today there was these two chavs walking down, and they were just about to come in just as I shut the doors. <laughs> and one of them was like, Ooh, and I just stood and laughed at him like, <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> as I locked the door like that. And he was get, like giving it this and I was hot. And I was like, yes, get in. I probably won't come back to fight us. <laughs> That's very funny though. <laughs> 
I just thought I've had a shit day and like to see to see the look of like fucking abject despair on his face for that brief second <laughs> and he literally threw his hands up like oh man <laughs> and I just thought <laughs> fuck you <laughs> no Greg's for you my lad that's nah, customer the service at its finest yeah it's good work Al it's good work if I had it my way I'd probably have been arrested several hundred times over by now But you know. You all got anything? I got no, no. We, nah. should, we should talk about summer. It hasn't been very long, has it? Doesn't have to be. Hi, but I can't just be like. It's got, are... got to be longer than 20 minutes, though. Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah, because, 20 minutes. Because our, our 10 subscribers have come. 14? Our 14. We did have 15, but we lost one last week. I might have resubscribed, like. I think I've I've lost I lost two subscribers on YouTube the other day. It's dark day. I'm I'm sub forty now. <laughs> so yeah, games. Woo. Yeah, that was something I wanted to talk about. Can't remember what it was. Yeah, Pokemon goes out and the world's going crazy for it. <laughs> it's not out in the UK yet, though. Well, there's a ways to get it. Yeah, but. it's not officially out in the UK, but literally everyone I know has just went. So they suddenly went, "Oh yeah, I don't mind stealing things off the internet." Not what everyone's done, is it? Yeah, pretty much. For the Android version, you could just download the actual the APK. App, the APK file off the net, um, and for I. I, iOS users, all you have to do is like change your location to the uh, the US, and it's like, oh, you live in the US. Here you go, then <laughs> have our app store, and then people download it and then swap back. It's crazy. So apparently, though, the servers are dead. Like they've been killed because of that many people trying to get the fucking. It seems a bit more stable. Like the Why past year or so. Why is anyone that bothered about Pokemon? Uh, honestly, right? Even people like on my friends list who have like had no interest in it for years. Everyone's just gone fucking mad for it at the minute. Mm. Like honestly, it's just blew up in a fucking massive way. Like me, me, uh, me friends. This is full of people. Like uh, there's a lad I know, um, uh, called Luke Shepard, and he he's into like games and stuff. So and you know, you know, Pokemon. In my opinion, is just a little girls game. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a game for little girls. But he's like dragged his missus and the bear out with him while he's doing. He's like, right, I'm going out to catch Pokemon. No, oh, come on, mate. But honestly, like, people are f- going mad for it. Even people who, like I say, normally have no interest in it. What do you mean he's going out to catch Pokemon? You've got to go out. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Now, it uses It's your augmented GPS. reality. Yeah, it uses your GPS, right? And then you walk around and you come across them sort of, like, out in the thingy. And it uses your camera and then it, it puts... Um, are you for fucking real? Mm-hmm. No, serious. That is the gayest thing I've ever heard. Alas, in America the other day found a dead yeah, she body. she a dead body while she was out looking for Pokemon. <laughs> she went down... So the... is that a top level one? Is it? <laughs> Does that mean, did she win? <laughs> she went to the river to find a water-based Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> found a dead body floating. That's brilliant. What I've seen... I, was... love, I love the fact that the fucking, the border of reality if she smashed through that <laughs> fucking feeling <laughs> third curtain of game. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Apparently. Now, now I love it. <laughs> it's the best game of the year. <laughs> oh, that's mint. Oh, Apparently yes. there's, a, uh, there's a police station in uh, Australia who've actually ha- uh, like put a sign up in the window because like, there's these things called like poker stops, right? So the idea is that you could go there and it's kind of like a little community hub area. And like you go there and you get free shit. So like literally loads of people have been walking into this police station just because they're on Pokemon Go. And then people have been like, can I help you? And they're like, no, just Pokemon. So apparently this police station and a few other places have had to put signs in the window saying like, if you're only coming in to play Pokemon, fuck off. Like cafes and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, I've seen it's it. only it's only for fucking paying customers, not just for people playing Pokemon Go. That sounds absolutely fucking pathetic. But on the plus side, imagine all the fat cunts who are now getting exercise. Yeah. So you know, swings and roundabouts. Every cloud and that. Still garbage. And also, 
It's irresponsible as fuck. It's young, just because kids, it is essentially a child's game. Do you know what I mean? And kids are going to play it. And kids are going to want it. And kids are going to want to go and get everything. And kids are going to just randomly wander around in the streets and supervise now, staring at the telephones. There's already been reports of people having car crashes. Yeah, yeah. Stop, yeah, I know. I was saying, I was saying, Amy, about it actually. Fucking stupid. Because I was saying, uh, I'm not one of these people who like sits like glued to my phone everywhere I fucking go. Yeah, like right. this, where I'm walking along like this with my phone. You do. But you're one of the worst out of my friends for it. You're joking, aren't you? No, you are. You're pretty bad when you want to be you. Not when I'm actually walking around. Maybe when I'm stuck, like say I could be sat here and I could get my phone out, right? But yeah, never when some, I'm like. Sometimes if you go for a coffee and that, you're that like you're the epitome of that comedy meme. Where it's two people. When's the last time I went for a coffee with you? So I don't go for coffees really anymore, you know this fuck. Alright. <laughs> but I honestly, it's like, I can imagine. It's too easy, isn't it? Is that all we've got to do to stop you having coffee with us? Just be ignorant, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> easy. But I can imagine, like, even people who weren't that fucking bad for it that they were constantly glued now will be. Wait, yeah. somebody like me who's already party sighted, I'd get run over. Yeah. I'd get run over. But I've I've read, uh, like statuses on Facebook and that, and like even like memes about. Now, it. I've seen some. And now they make sense. Yeah. Because some people I've got on my Facebook are like, "Oh, I just fell over going down the stairs." On. Yeah. I'm like, "What are you doing going down the stairs? Playing on your mobile? In why aren't you sitting?" There? Now I understand. But there's people actually like, because obviously it's it's just a GPS thing, so there'd be some like nearby, and there's people like going to find them, and like say one might be in the middle of a fucking like river and there's people trudging through rivers and shit to get to them so is it are they randomly generated then mm -hmm. yeah. so like they could essentially put them in the middle of a fucking river with alligators or crocodiles in or fucking it could randomly like i think the way it works in, in gorilla Co cage in Bill in Bill sitting room ah, yeah, Bill. <laughs> yeah that's a good point <coughs> i think the way it works is on a random Ralph, Ralph harris has been caught with whack mags in his cell <laughs> Bop, 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 splage. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? Here? Did you also read the, the, the other week about how uh, everyone on the, his wing has been kicking off like fuck with him because uh, apparently he's got gastrointestinal problems, but he fucking loves curry and he's just been <laughs> stinging everyone out. <laughs> what a guy, yeah? Fucking crazy. Bop, 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 splage. Guess that's right to my dress. <laughs> that's fucking horrendous. The other thing is. Um, some of our games done quicks on currently at the minute. That speed running thing they have twice a year. It's still going, I think, but uh, so far, the last time, the last one I watched, they'd made like over like 500 grand for Doctors Without Borders, so that's pretty cool. I was reading somebody did a speed run of um, Witcher 3, yeah. did it in two and a half hours. Yeah. See, I like, I like ones like that. I don't like ones where it's glitched and they can complete the game in like six minutes. I want one where it's like actually, like, I don't know, like skill based and like there's lots of like little tricks and stuff that they've done to like shave time off, as opposed to just going oh yeah and glitch this and it's done in like five minutes. Can't see that zoom in. Oh, this is the the terror of Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You're not going to get Pokemon Go now, aren't you? Nope. No, I'm not. I think you should. <laughs> when, you, when you tap the dog out. So like, essentially... That's what I was looking for. This... <laughs> yeah. That's the real terror of Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So basically, they just randomly generate and you walk to that area and whoever gets there first gets it. Yep. Pretty much. That's it. Yep. And you can like you can battle, battle each other and shit. Out of it. Basically, just imagine Pokemon, but like, on like, a, but like an MMO on your phone, essentially. That's ridiculous. Where you play against every bugger else who's got it. That just sounds pathetic. It sounds like your favorite game. It just sounds like absolute garbage. It sounds like. To you, it sounds pathetic, or to a Pokemon fan. That's good. Right, it's it. People have to a fucking, That's what I mean. To a twelve-year-old girl. 12 year old girl gets a fucking port of bond notification that there's one in the fucking middle of Castle Aiden Dean at half past one in the morning. Off you go. 
You know what I mean? It's fucking lunacy. And don't tell me that there's not going to be at least statistically one of them stupid enough to do it. Apparently, uh, I read this thing the other day, some, some kid had been uh, playing in the US and he went through a fucking bad neighbourhood, right? And some, uh, some like gangbanger had seen that he was playing Pokemon Go and stabbed him to fucking pinch his phone. <laughs> I, I, but you know what I mean? just making me point though. I know. Do you know what I mean? You're just making me point. It's like so engrossing. Oh, there's a Pikachu over there. I best just head down into the <laughs> Badlands area. Just cross the tracks. <laughs> Shit, how did I end up in Detroit? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean though? It is fucking insane. It's insane. Like, I don't know what I'd be more angry about the makers of the game who were like, because it is going to be kids and they are going to do stupid things. Right, but I don't know if, if I had my own child, if I'd be more angry at my child for even liking that shit. That's I'd like, I'd have to beat my child. <laughs> I'd be like, I never wanted to strike you. You can't hold it against your kid for being into stuff like that. It's a kid's thing. And that's all his mates, isn't it? Well, look at look at the eighties, right? When you used to listen to Bros. What do you mean you used to? <laughs> There's a cat and Tiffany. The pigeons. I didn't. I don't even actually really like Bros very much. But yeah, I get your point. I wouldn't if it was just me kid. It would, I wouldn't be bothered. But if the kid was like a, a male getting a fourteen and fifteen, and he, I know. But are you just here, misogynist? Like it's a fucking girls game. It is. It's a girls game. It's for girls and emos. That's what it's for. Fuck off your Pokemon. Go do a real manly thing like fucking. Playing the muck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go and fight someone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But not a gangbanger with a knife. Who, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just like maybe Dave from Three Doors Down or something. He's your age. He's your size. Go fuck him up. And don't kick him when he's down either. Do steal his phone though. <laughs> yeah. I need a new phone. Why Dave Dad? He's got an S5. <laughs> So I logged into uh, uh, Elder Scrolls Online last night. I saw, I sent you a chat request, but again, you must have been on your phone, mate. <laughs> I was busy catching Pokemon. I think you were on your phone or something, because you ignore your chat requests now. I've just fucking not been with it this week, man. You're just like busy on your phone, texting and face face palming and stuff. I mean, there is a chance you just saw it was you and thought, Nah. That's more, to be fair, that's more likely, like, I've had a long day, I'm yeah. not talking that irritating cunt now, which I'm alright about, actually, pretty, pretty I'm, much. I'm pretty much cool with that's that. Not so much you, just anybody, though. Uh, even if it was just yeah. me, I would fucking pop it. <laughs> you know I wouldn't, yeah. mate. I wouldn't give a fuck. But it's, uh, it's changed a fair bit, like, I mean, it th- 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 would still bother you, because it's still fucking... Cheeseburger and it's 96 running past you. Yeah, I'm still here. Then. But like, what, well, my mum's playing now? <laughs> ah, your mum's got to log in. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's yeah, changed I, quite a bit. I, I, I all account, I blow you hard 69 got banned. <laughs> I blow bang 69. There's like loads of DLC out for it now. That um, you can download, but it costs you like crowns. But not like loads compared to the other stuff. Like if you remember how much it was for like a mount, it's the same for the DLC. So value, it's not too bad. But I'm thinking if I end up like playing it again for a bit, I never did get my free month of it, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. So I might just do that, download all the stuff, and then cancel it. So when you say it costs crowns, what, what in-game it's currency? In-game currency. Yeah. And you earn it in-game. You don't. No, no. Like it. you'd have to, you'd have to buy it. Uh, if you. If you sign up the Elder you get a, you pay X amount a month and then you get so many crowns a month given to you. Along with other free shit. Ah. So it's, it's that it's that framework. Yeah. It's, so if you don't subscribe every month, you, you, you don't get still, anything. You just play the box. Oh, you game. Still play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still just, play online for free. You're just not getting the best. But then there becomes no point because someone has the mighty staff of fucking dingling. And you just have like not the mighty staff of Dingley, and you just have the weeny staff of Shlong, <laughs> and the mighty staff of Dingling guy will just fucking slap you like a bitch. Fair enough. But I, I've just been like fucking bored as fuck recently, like with my games. 
I'm just at such a lull and there's nothing I want to play at the minute. Yeah, I'm the same. That's why I got back in the Dragon Age. Man. That's why I'm playing Uncharted online all the time. <laughs> it's so good. In my relaxing time, I've also been playing a lot of guitar, <coughs> but this is not a guitar podcast. Well, have you heard of Boomerang Games? No. It rings a bell. Is, that is it that game company? where you take, like, sort no, of. it's a, a game house, I have no, a, no, a no, piece no, of wood one. or a piece of plastic and it's kind of in a curve shape. Close. And you throw it and then it comes back to you. Close. Right. Do you know if it doesn't come back, do you know what it's called? A stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, old ones are the Boom. best. <laughs> oh, Boomerang Games, you pay £10 a month. And it's basically like a game rental thing, but you can keep the game for as long as you want. And you can have, I think you get unlimited. I'll tell you what, they have heard the big one for years. They, used to, they started out doing CDs back in the day. I'm be, I've been thinking about doing it because, like, how much money am I spending on fucking games? It's ridiculous. And if I pay £10 a month, I can get as many as I want for free. Yeah. Play them, send them back. Like, I've been considering signing up to PS Now for me three months just to play XCOM until to try and tide us over until... I've got XCOM for free on the Xbox. Yeah. And we've... I've just got, I've got fuck, fuck all to play. You should check out Boomerang Games, though. It looks quite good, I think, about doing it. Because obviously I pre-ordered No Man's Sky yeah. and then I saw the special edition of Mafia 3 and I pre-ordered that. And there's what, like, yeah, 190 quid for two games. Crazy money, is it? To be fair, I wanted, I only want the vinyl. So, uh, is Gary back on Mafia? PlayStation. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent. I wasn't looking. I think so. Is he that off your phone? Fury? It must be him. I thought it was. Because I got a friend request and I was like... Who's that? Who's that? And I saw mutual friends and he's only got three friends on us, like me, you and Jason. I thought, it's got to be Gary. Yeah. Um, I got a message off him the other day. Words up, Battlefield came out like nonce. Yeah, it's got to be Gary. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was Gary. Oh, this was on uh, WhatsApp. All right. Oh shit, Battlefield as well. There's another game I'm going to. Yeah, that was, the, that was the other one I wanted. That's the only one I'm. That and Mafia. I'm honestly not fussed about. The more I think about it, the less bothered about No Man's Sky. I'm. See, I know you're just trying to like not get pulled in by the hype in case it's shit. Well, I haven't been. But by the same token, I'd also say don't like be too dismissive of it. I'll be dismissive until I see it. Because I think the more you go, nah, eventually you'll you'll condition yourself to like not want it, even if it's good. Not really. No, if it's good, I, I've often conceded it. You'll, you'll do good. a Cooper. I wouldn't. I would never do that for a cock. I when, when have I ever done that with a game? Every time. Every game <laughs> near, ever. Near one game. Every game ever. Mm-mm. One game. What, where you've been like... You oh, think? that shit. And then I've gone, not oh, actually. Yeah. Um, there has been quite a few. You did it with uh, Destiny, where you wanted that badly, you convinced yourself it was shit, then came round and you thought it was good, but still refused to acknowledge it was good. Never ever did that. The reason, did I? The reason I didn't get Destiny is because I couldn't afford it. Then I bought you a copy. Then you bought it. And then after I played it, I was like, oh, no, man. No, like it. That's also... No, I was looking forward to Destiny. I really wanted it. Also, Fallout 4. Yeah. Fallout 4 was shit. And I was right. I was doing it now. I was doing it now. But I was right. I was alright or not. It wasn't shit, right? It was just by Compa- far the compared to the series. Compared to the New Vegas, was it shit? Compared to New Vegas? Well, there you go. It was shit. I was but right. But that's like going, do you see this solid gold bar? <laughs> isn't it like, isn't it a piece of shit compared to this massive fucking glittering diamond <coughs> crown? So two games that you say, but I was correct on both accounts. No, no, actually I was wrong on Destiny because I said it looked great. You got us there. And the thing is though, is Destiny wasn't terrible either because I still put like 400 hours into it. Yeah, it was a good game. It was just like, I got bored of it and it had nothing to keep us interested. It was just way too repetitive for me. Yeah. That's why I couldn't play. And to be honest, games. same with fucking Fallout really. Grind, anything that is grind focused for me, it does that. 
about your character. See, it's really, it's really bizarre that you can hate that. Yeah, in this, like, the way you were with fucking Skyrim was like different. fucking borderline obsessive. Yeah, but that's that, different. That's different, though, because I, I can see where he's coming from there. Because it was that, that's what I was like with Dragon Age. Also, it's right. just because you get so much also, into the law and the story. I, did, I, I enjoyed the game that much. I wanted to just do everything in it. I was inspired by the game, and also I was under no obligation. To do everything in it. Right, okay, I'm on with you now, yeah. Right. You did it because so, you wanted to, not because you felt you had so to. So, on the days where I really wanted to have a session and really have a good game, I could go on and I could grind and get everything and farm every fucking corner of the map. On other days when I wanted to just have a bash about, I'd run into a fucking dungeon yeah. and I'd blow some shit up and I would do some stupid shit or I'd deliberately do a quest line like a cock. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, always go for the wanker option, you know, and that would be fun, and I could do that on Skyrim. On Destiny, it went like this. You log in, you have to farm um, 79 fucking alien winnets so you can unlock this silencer, and you need seven of these so you can break them down and make one thatched weave pube wig, and then you trade <laughs> that thatched weave pube wig for this token that you need 10 of and then you go to this guy who's there once he's there once every three weeks Aye. if it's a wednesday <coughs> and you've got to be clear between the hours of 2 17 pm and 4 48 um he's not going to be there with that item again though until 2019 <laughs> right that was my problem yeah. with destiny also the, the strange coin debacle i'll yes. never forget that yes that's one of my fondest memories. <laughs> he was on for all, all three weeks in a row. He was online with us as it happened. Though. You've never heard real tears like a man. <laughs> Except it is. It is the only time, I can honestly say in my life, it's the only time I've ever rage quit. <laughs> That's fantastic. I rage quit. It's the only time in my life I've ever rage quit. Do you know what it is quit. though, right? I can hear it in your voice, right? <laughs> And no, and that, the thing is, though, is I'm laughing because I understand, but like I've never seen that that from you. And it wasn't so much the fact that you got like seven strange coins, right? It's the fact that you put loads of effort in, <laughs> and you got seven strange coins, and other people got the good shit. And uh, Stephen Kitchen and his dad joined at the last minute and got good shit. And it wasn't even that. I was like. Look at how just like I'm way more deserving than them, <laughs> and I get seven strange coins. I do all the fucking hard work, and they get all the glory. Fuck off. No, but to be fair though, to be fair to me, it happened that three. Was excellent. You no, know, it, happened, it happened three weeks in a row though. Once I could have got away with it, even though I didn't like it. Twice I was really fucking angry, and then on the third week, when it happened, it was three weeks in a row. I was like, this game is fucking pure garbage. <laughs> The time, though, you can still hear it in his third, voice, yeah, can't you? The third time, though, there was that, like, almost a minute of, of silence. silence, yeah, <laughs> where it was, like, just waiting for the reactor to blow. <laughs> Thing is, though, I knew, I knew I was going to rage quit, and I was trying to fight it, because I was like, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy, and I remember, they tell you what set us off, Stephen Kitchen going, oh, oh this fucking rocket launch is mint. <laughs> And that was it. I just fucking blew. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, strange fucking coins. And I keep getting people always like, oh, come back on Destiny. Oh, it's all being fixed. So fucking what? <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, um, it's like Peter Sutcliffe. Imagine if one of his fucking victims was my great aunt or something on me, Andy. And he fucking stabbed her through the throat nine times with a screwdriver. And it's like, so Cliff ringing his now <laughs> and going, Andy, I'm really sorry about your auntie. You found God. It was so long ago. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just let it go, I Andy. Do let that it go. Sort of thing now. I went, all right, come on then, Peter. Me and you, good mates. No, Destiny is a fucking garbage. So basically you're saying Destiny is the video game version of Peter Sutcliffe? Yes. Right. Yes. I'm even going to go so far as to say, in retrospect, even though I sank a lot of hours into it. I mean, people sink a lot of hours into taking heroin, though. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? And it doesn't make me as good. (laughs) But this is the thing, though. It is good, though, isn't it? (laughs) I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, like, the point is, is, if it was shit all the time, people wouldn't take heroin. 
Yeah, but one day you wake up and you look in the mirror, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah. And you're like this emaciated company teeth. And you're I'm like, not saying that doesn't happen. I'm just saying it's got to be good to start with, otherwise people would take care of it. You wouldn't but, be able to look in the mirror because you'd have sold it. in retrospect, Destiny was the was worst... Was heroin. Was the worst, <laughs> yes, heroin. Was the worst gaming experience possibly of my life. <laughs> what, worse than The Order? Because I know yeah, how much you hate that. I had that... The Order was only shit because it was so short. It could have been a good game. The Order had a lot of good things going for it. Destiny was garbage. Was fucking garbage. Destiny's whole fucking business model was grind, grind, grind. And they even didn't try and hide the fact that they chopped the game to bits yeah. to sell it back to you in chunks. Yeah, because like that was like the stuff that was cut was still on disc. You just couldn't access it. Like there was like I remember there was uh, before the first bit of DLC came out. We glitched me, our me way. And Bing glitched our way and. Uh, yeah, you showed me. I yeah, went after. In, you showed in me. one of the. I can't remember what fucking mission it was. It was a vault that became yeah. the next. Um, the like seraphim vault or something I don't know I can't remember it's garbage shit game <laughs> so you'll be buying Destiny 2 then? no I will not <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you it for Christmas I don't want it <laughs> Jason will buy Destiny 2 honey second second worst gaming experience of my life Destiny second worst what's the first one Alien War <laughs> <laughs> oh no here we go I would say that that's another heroin experience though because I, thought... I remember coming around while you were playing it and you were like this game's meant it's, it awesome, it's awesome that's why I hate it so much <laughs> it was such a fucking I thought the ending was inspired <laughs> oh, inspired is one word for it I felt inspired to kill <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually, actually Eleanor was a better rage quit from you than Destiny was because you actually physically snapped Snap the disc. The disc yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, it slipped in my hand and fell in half. That's what happened there. And you were like visibly distraught. And then I was so distraught that when I stood up, my foot went through the box. Because <laughs> I didn't know it was there. That's what happened. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Clearly. Have you sold it? No, it's in the bin. <laughs> What? In the fucking bin. I can't sell it. Why? It's not in one piece. Oh, you haven't, have you? I did launch that old Xbox across the room in Gateshead when it red ringed on me. Yeah. Him. You could have just sent it to Microsoft. I don't give a fuck. I shouldn't have to send it to Microsoft. <laughs> That's when you switched to PS3, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I was going to get a PlayStation. I'd had PlayStations anyway, but out of the consoles on the market at the time, I thought the Xbox was the better option. Do you know what game converted me to buying a PS3? Parappa the Rapper. No. Well, if it wasn't, get out. <laughs> Battlefield. Parappa the Rapper. See it again. Bad Company Parappa the Rapper. Aye, Parappa the Rapper. Parappa the Rapper. Parappa the Rapper. Parappa the Rapper. Yeah. So I've seen some stuff on the new Battlefield. Um, What's that shooter we used to play where you could, like, Per the rapper. Die, that was it. <laughs> Where you could destroy all the, the sea scenery with the snipers and the C4. Per the rapper. Yeah, that was it. Per rapper. Can you remember, can you remember that game where you were a rapper and your master was an onion? Per oh, the rapper. Bad Company 2. Bad Company uh, 2. That's <laughs> no, it's per the rapper. <laughs> there was um, people who've been reviewing the new Battlefield 1 who've been playing the beta or the alpha have been comparing it to Bad Company 2. That's a good thing. That's what I think as well. Yeah. That's what they referenced in the um like that is the benchmark. One of the it? things that I was say, so they were talking about. It's They're saying that each gun feels totally different to the other, like they all did in Bad Company 2. Uh Battlefield 3 they all kind of felt the same. And there's a lot of destruction in it. Well that's, that's not entirely true about the guns in, in oh in three did you say? Yeah yeah. In three. Sorry, I thought you meant four. Four's really good for that as well. Oh yeah, yeah, but three. The, the, the guns are fantastic in four. In fact, I might have a game with the, it later. The thing with 3, right, is... I, in fact, I can actually recall... All the games were really similar, right? But, you know... Similar is boring, but as far as they were concerned, balanced. And anything that was better... Would, got nerfed, didn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, this is the thing, I don't think... Like... I all the know. guns had the shotguns. You know what I got yeah. sick of? I got sick of shotgun players getting nerfed. And you know, everyone going on like you were a noob. Right... In a game where you've got tanks, helicopters, 
small anti-personnel vehicles, mines, C4, uh, snipers with fucking long range scopes, assault guys with medium range rapid fire burst weapons, right? Can you deny that it takes a level of skill to get up close enough to those people for your shotgun to be effective? No, 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 you can't. That's why I got fucking sick of them banning me from service. Yeah. Because I was a fucking awesome shotgun player. And I mean on big maps as well. I was pulling it off on big maps, wasn't I? Remember that? <coughs> You're laughing because you can remember. I just remember that one particular session where, where you and Colin, where we went into a, no, into a, a no shotgun server and you pulled your shotgun. There was no shotgun, no C4. And uh, <laughs> you C4 an entire corridor and went in blazing with your shotgun and then blew your C4. And you're like, I wonder how long it takes for us to get k- <laughs> and being kicked. Yeah. And then and then me and Callum got kicked about two minutes later as well. It was but I was I was laughing at it. <coughs> I saw on the sign of the thing it was a crowd, no shotgun, no C4. I was like, not this shit again. Right, I'm fucking I'm not having it. Do you know what I mean? This is on a close quarters map. Do you remember do you remember <laughs> honestly one of my favourite moments? And I was just sat watching you play. Uh, I was, oh, when I was there, helicopter. <laughs> helicopter, right? There was this guy, and it was um, he was the server owner, and he was in this helicopter, and he was fucking. He was playing so gay with the helicopter. He was like basically trying to snipe with it. He was like at extreme range and just trying to shoot people with this helicopter, being the most boring thing ever. And he jumped in on the uh, on the spawn screen. Yeah, on on the other seat. And he was like, right, get in with it. Like, I'm the gunner, do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll, and the that's only how choice works. I had was be in his team, his squad, or on my own, because all the other squads were full. Mm. So I could only spawn on him. And after about 10 minutes, uh, this guy just sitting in the same place and him getting prickly, he C4 the helicopter <laughs> while he was in it, jumped out and blew it, and then got kicked from the server before he even landed. <laughs> It's like, ah, fuck you. Oh, no well, it's hard. That's one of the things I love about hardcore mode, though. Oh. Excellent. Yeah. I had some good times on Battle we Fields. Laughed, really, like. We laughed a lot at that, though, didn't we? Yeah, and Gary, was... honestly, I've never seen a player like Gary for just pull it, like... He is in that game, like he is in real life, where he just gets away with some incredible shit, and you're like, how did you fucking manage that way? Like... He'd like launch a rocket and it would like hit someone like fucking bob on like miles away but just were completely like pfft, kind yeah. of shot you know what I mean no aim involved at all he just took a cheeky punt and I'll got it I'll tell you what though and he that used to be incredible tank, he was amazing yeah. in that though he used to get hate mail off people <laughs> you went on that night when me and Callum convinced that French kid that I was disabled <laughs> 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 that was amazing <laughs> We were getting spawn camped right and I messaged him and I and I put like a sad face and I was like, Hi, my name's Andy from England and I'm in a wheelchair and I can only move my hands <laughs> and, I, and I play battlefield so I can remember what it was like to run <laughs> <laughs> to, to and hold a gun to be free. <laughs> and like and, and honestly mate, like, I know that it's part of the game, but were you spawn camping me? Um, oh, I also said I was 12 and I said if you spawn cam me it's just kind of making me sad again and it makes me feel like I'm in a wheelchair in this game as well <laughs> <laughs> and then we left he didn't say anything he left him for a couple of minutes and Callum messaged him he said hi my name's Callum I'm Andy's carer he's sitting here at home crying because somebody online's bullying him he did all this stuff anyway I'm his carer instead of caring for him I'm also playing Battlefield yeah, yeah. but the thing is all right, the, the, a couple of minutes passed and he emailed us back, this guy, and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, Do it with and, a French accent. I'm so sorry. Andy, I'm so sorry. I had Andy, no idea that you were in a wheelchair. I had no idea, idea you were spastic. <laughs> <laughs> and, I fucking, and I was running out, and he was like waving his gun about in front of us. So like, and shooting and missing on furthest. So <laughs> oh, of course. I was pulling my hand and fucking headshotting him. <laughs> this, this went on for fucking ages, right? And I must have oh, got about, I must have got about fucking 15 and 5 on him, just on him alone again. <laughs> and he passed it round to his mates, oh, this monster rifts guy's disabled, he's, like, he's handicapped and like, he's, him and his carers on, this guy's his carer, try not to shoot them. You know, if you get in, they were all being like super nice. <laughs> and honestly, I had the best round of my life. <laughs> 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 okay. And 
70 kills gets better though, gets better. Like 70 kills and 12 deaths. And then right at the end of the because it tells you how long's left on the timer, it was like an hour long private match. There's about five minutes left. I go, so yeah, Callum, check this out. Swap sides. So we actually we swapped server sides, right? And I was like, hello, I'm Andy. I'm actually 37 year old man. <laughs> And I'm not disabling. <laughs> oh, you are a fucking wanker! <laughs> and me and Callum were just fucking crazy. <coughs> Lord of mail. You're a fucking, yeah, I can't believe you've done that. Pretend <laughs> you're despicable, you're a horrible cunt. All oh, this guy was brilliant. And they were right, I am. So, <laughs> <laughs> it, oh. It's worth it just for that line. And I had the best round of my life. <laughs> Me and you know, this guy, I was like, I was going to Callum, and Callum was like, oh, get him with C4. So I was like, running up with him C4 in my hand. And he was like, you could see he was doing like, oh no, I can't get away, he's going to get it. Fucking love and to C4 at the cut, jumping me down. Oh man, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Everyone else is getting spawn camps now, just running for the. I was just running up through the middle of the fucking level and like oh. <laughs> I'd get winged and you can imagine me like no no don't shoot him <laughs> he is special you know what I mean <laughs> oh it's fucking brilliant letting his capture flags on me own I was getting messages off them oh well done you have got B <laughs> you know what I mean I'm like yes that's right <laughs> yes I did of me life. <laughs> oh man, it was hilarious oh uh, good times <laughs> Thing is though, there's like a lot of people on my team who had no idea how like how, how distinctly average a player I am. And because I was at the top of the table, they were following us and all sorts, and I was getting every gun killed. It's brilliant fun. I remember when we were playing Battlefield 3 and you sent that guy a message saying dickhead or something like that. Oh, because he kept killing you and you were raging. And you sent him a message saying dickhead. And you sent a message back saying, where? And you were like, oh, I've been playing this for like 60 hours or something. And I think you end up being friends with him and you play Battlefield. Yeah, I still do. Yeah. And crazy. Yeah, I still play with him. It was, with, um, it was my mate Remy. Well, he hasn't had a PS4 for ages. Anybody else? Right, uh, there's how we deal with the Battlefield story. There you go. I'm really looking forward to BF1 Lite, I think it's going to yeah. be amazing. I think it's going to be incredible. Um, are, you, are you planning on, because with Battlefield 3, didn't you buy your own server? I'll probably get my own server. you got plans on doing that with Battlefield yeah, more 1? Than, more than likely. Because I've got this big political thing about in my head about the servers where I'm not going to ban anything. The only thing I'm going to ban is like... Dickheads. Yeah. And like, the only thing I'll ban, ban is fucking spawn camping you know where people just sit at the spawn point yeah to fucking that i'll be like nah not having it and how much does the server cost i think it's 50 quid a year or something i can't remember it's not bad really is it it wasn't yeah. too bad when i got one if we all get the game we should all probably chip in and see if we can get our own server well you can have up to eight administrators on the, la the last time anyway you could have yourself and seven other admin admins who had all the same powers as you other than terminating the server yeah we should do that and then we've got our own server and we can be all like i had a couple of mates who like online mates who i let them admin on my server if they had a server and they would let me admin on theirs yeah so sometimes we'd have like if if one of my pal's servers was set up for close quarters only and there was a couple of little things that i wanted to tweak instead of in, in changing my big map server i just go on his and tweak it so when he fancied playing big maps likewise he could go on mine <laughs> But one server between us would be good. We should have a clan. Yeah. I think we should uh, re reinvigorate the Jew Hunters. Yeah, but this time we should, uh, instead of, we should spell it with a J. No, I think I'm with him. Right, oh, it's 2 1, then I'll go Jew Hunter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's World War 1. Mate, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be that for context. <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope you realise why it's funny. <laughs> I hope you realise why that's actually funny, and I don't think you do. Well, how is it context for World War One? Fair enough. 
you thick cunt. It's definitely the Jew on us now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, just tweaked on to what you said, haven't you? <coughs> Two man! Yeah. Um, however, with that said though, we in that case, we might be ahead of the curve though, because there's a strong rumours that the DLC packs are going to continue through history. We'd be all set up for World War Two. Or we could get in early and we could just be the SS. I'm with that. I'm down with that. We need to be something really offensive. The Black Panthers. Nah. Nah, because that's synonymous with those fucking Black Lives Matter bell ends. Mm. White powder. <laughs> <laughs> white, white magic. <laughs> I want to be that. Doesn't necessarily just have to be racist. Can we, <laughs> can we not push more buttons than just the race card? <laughs> Black Hawk Downs. <laughs> We've got a winner. Nice. I want to be Black Hawk Downs. Nice. Are we all right for that? I, yeah. I'm down with that. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Sure. Like that. <laughs> Who are you guys? We're Black Hawk Downs. Oh, yes. Black Hawk Downs. And we could if we get strangers on the server, we'd we be like, try, oh. like, We could try and perpetuate the rumour that we're all handicapped. Like that thing I did, but on a bigger scale. I think we should. Oh, should we do Black Hawk Downs? Yes. And all pretend we've got Down Syndrome when we're online. I know them. I know them. I know them. I know them. The thing is, though, is that, that would last for about two hours. And then it'd be like, it's taking B or something like <laughs> For fuck's sake, what? <laughs> it's taking B. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the veil would be lifted and then it would just be a fucking bad <laughs> It would still be funny. Black Hawk Downs is brilliant. That, that is our clan name. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Black Hawk Downs server. <laughs> If you are offended, if you are a black, if you are black, yes, this is a racist <coughs> reference. If you have Down syndrome, yes, this is a bigoted reference. If you are black and have Down syndrome, <laughs> welcome to the club. <laughs> please, please send a request. <laughs> oh God, I just want to offend people. That's what I want to do. Do you know what though? Most like there's going to be black people who say it and they're going to be ah oh, fucking stupid white English knobheads and they'll not they'll not even be bothered you know what I mean but it's going to be the fucking someone it's going to be the white the white comma white knights yeah that's who's going to get butt hurt that's all I want I mean I'm I'm not I mean Black Hawk Downs is good so far but I wouldn't mind one that's deliberately aimed at the fucking attacking the social justice warriors like I wouldn't mind something along them lines either. I'll give that a bit of thought. Just so they can look at it and get triggered. Yes. Yeah. You're going to have to think of something now. We could do something like that with the server though, because the clan name could be Black Hawk Downs, and then we could have the server, because you can title your servers and you can put blurb about your server. So you can put like stuff about like people getting triggered and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, I imagine, while we're on the podcast, I'm going to check now, because I imagine that a server price is the same, because it's pretty consistent, as Battlefield 4. Yeah. So I can have a look now on Battlefield 4 and see how much it's going to cost. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll do it after. We'll do yeah. it after. And we'll chip in and sort something out. Anything else? Other than Black Hawk Down the Junior. <laughs> We've got a sign off in the classic way after that. Hi! See ya! No, no, because that's overdoing it. It's overdoing it. Oh, sorry. We've we've got what we want now. Oh, we're done. We're done. Bye. Bye. Fuck off. <laughs>